E-waste is a big issue. About 60,000 tonnes of electronic waste are generated in Singapore each year. Rather than throw your defunct or outdated tech gear in the trash, and to help Singapore's Zero Waste Master Plan to reduce one-third of the waste sent to Sumaco Landfill by 2030, you can send it for recycling. You can make more of your electronic waste such as laptops, bulbs and batteries by depositing it in one of these bins. Located at more than 300 locations such as malls and supermarkets around the island. When each bin is full, it is collected by Alba E-Waste Smart Recycling who take the contents for sorting at its facility here in Tuas. Once we collect them from the many different avenues, it will come to our sorting hub. It will be sorted based on material types. So for example, the TVs will all be with the TV pile, the laptops will all be in the laptop pile. Once we have about five pallets, it will be then sent to uh, one of our approved recyclers which has already passed our stringent auditing. First on the agenda at the recycling centre is for the e-waste to be weighed. We need to know where all the electronic waste are going to and how is it being handled. So we do have to ensure that uh, certain standards that are in place as well as the capabilities of our recyclers are sufficient to handle the material types. And then lastly, of course, is accountability. Whether or not the materials uh, that we send out are actually being uh, received at the recycler the same quantity that we sent out. The laptops are taken into a secure room so that the hard drives can be destroyed before the rest of the laptop is recycled. This is where technology gives way to brute force. So what happens then is they will actually break down uh, the laptop into plastics, they will separate them out, the screens, the keyboards as well as the batteries. These materials will then be sent down either to a refinery or to further processing. The bins are part of the national drive to encourage people to recycle their e-waste and the aim is to collect 20,000 tonnes of e-waste annually. If that seems like a tall order, consider that in the month following the scheme's launch on July 1st, over 200 tonnes of e-waste had been collected. We are technically urban mining. And what I mean by that is um, from the power boards, right? From, from the motherboards, we have precious metals such as gold, silver. However, we, uh, from the naked eye, we cannot see. That's the reason why they have to be sent to a refinery. And then this refinery will retrieve back all these uh, precious metals so that we don't have to keep on mining Mother Earth.